Hey everyone, welcome back to the second episode of the AI series. If you are interested in this new series, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In this episode, we are diving deeper into my first introduction video. Some parts are AI generated without any manual post editing. This feature isn't entirely dependent on ChatGPT, but you can achieve similar results with it to some extent. For the Chinese version, I use the text-to-video function in Jianyin. Jianyin is a powerful video editing software from BadDance. It allows users to easily edit videos, add filters, effects, music, and text. It's simple to use with built-in smart editing features, suitable for both beginners and pros. Over the years, I've seen Jianyin grow stronger, and many long-time users might agree. It updates frequently almost every two weeks, making video editing incredibly user-friendly. Just paste a script into the text box, or you can choose to auto-generate a script. Like I mentioned in the last episode, you can also use ChatGTP to create a script. Then, you can select the voice for the narration. The final video can be made from online materials, local files, or even emojis. I have a subscribed pro version for Jianyin, so I'll show you the emoji video creation feature. After a short processing time, a continuous video is produced. 原本我做频道的初衷是做一些生活化的内容，不要和工作专业领域混在一起。Next, let's see how it handles an English script. Hmm, unfortunately, it doesn't support English at the moment. However, there's an English version of the software called CapCut. CapCut and Jianyin are both powerful video editing tools from ByteDance, but they have some differences. In terms of target market, Jianyin mainly targets Chinese users with localized features and content while CapCut is aimed at international users, supporting multiple languages for a global audience. For the user interface and features, the built-in music effects and templates are designed according to the preference of domestic or global users. Jianyin focuses more on interaction with Chinese social media platforms. CapCut is optimized for sharing on international platforms like TikTok. Overall, both offer similar functionalities, but are tailored to different different markets to meet the needs of their respective user bases. Since I'm familiar with Jianyin, transition to CapCut is smooth for me. I start by translating my Chinese narration to English using ChatGPT, make some adjustments, and then paste it into CapCut. Currently, it doesn't support emoji videos, so I'll create video using online materials. You can also select different voices for narration. Without a pro subscription in CapCut, the options are more limited. Interestingly, I noticed that the same text can produce different results each time, depending on the random selection of the materials. Initially, my purpose in creating this channel was to have some fun, keeping it separate from professional work-related topics. By the way, ChatGPT also has a CapCut plugin. You might want to try it before downloading and registering for the app. However, the underlying logic is the same, so that's a quick overview of using AI for text video creation. As I mentioned earlier, Jianyin updates frequently. Interesting, the latest update including a video translation feature supporting Chinese, Japanese, and English. This feature requires some virtual currency. Let me show you how it works. After trying it, I found it quite unsetting, so use it cautiously. First, you upload the original video. Here's my original upload. 大家好，欢迎回来我们的频道。不管你是第一次来到我们这的新朋友，还是一直关注我们的老朋友。Jianyin requires voice authorization to verify the voice matches the video's original audio. Once authorized, it starts translating the video. This process takes some time, but let's watch the final video. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Whether you are a new friend who has come to us for the first time, still paying attention to our old friend. I'm here today to announce some small tweaks that our channel will bring next. I was both amazed and shocked. It successfully. Altered two elements of my original video: the spoken content and the lip movement. It looks so natural that even my mom wouldn't suspect anything, unless she understood what I was saying. However, watching the whole video reveals some unnatural pauses, including nodding due to the difference in length between language like this. 
So for any video you watch, always be cautious of the audio and the video, unless the person is speaking directly to you, don't easily believe it. Feel free to share your thoughts on AI video creation in the comments or let me know what content you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.